What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mario B coming at you with a uh, team builder for our week one slash battle. Uh, so, this battle will be live commentated. I will be battling a little later today. I uh, just want to go over the team that I built. I ended up building just a quick team uh, because I just got my team today. Uh, if you haven't checked out the draft analysis video, definitely go show us some love. Um, but, like I said, I just got the team today making the team tonight and battling tomorrow early in the morning after work so uh it should be fun just a basic build my week it's actually my week two opponent uh sky splitter coach of the ac mill lanterns mill lanterns um so like i said in the draft analysis video this is the team that i'm going to be using for the first uh two battles um my week one opponent hasn't responded yet, so he might want to break up the battle, he might not want to. So we'll see what happens with that. But this is my week two, like I said. Um, so the team that I'm using is the one he drafted. So we're going against this. Uh, he has a type of Coco, super fast monster. Um, pretty good against my team. Don't really have a switch in. I won't get um, bulky wall that I don't think I can break. Uh, very special. Yeah. Uh, Cobalion, uh, not well, his Zemon users are type of Coco and Persian, by the way. But uh, Cobalion, super strong Mon, can set up a Swords Dance, can pretty much um, do good damage to my team with Stone Age, Earthquake, Iron Head, something among those lines. Uh, Gastrodon, just a bulky defensive monster, especially defensive monster, uh, Water Ground. Um, also got the Megalade, the Megalade's a beast, I have him in the UBLN. Uh, just super fast, uh, hits super hard, same coverage, so I definitely expect him to bring it. Saigar 50, can set up a Dragon Dance, 1000 arrows, everything. So, um, the top 6 is what I'm expecting, but he does also have an Ente, uh, super uh, super cool mod. Honestly, Ente is one of my favorite of uh, the Johto Pokemon. He's so cool. Um, but, anyways, Ente can be really ran. Um, Choice Bandit, Sacred Fire, just hits anything pretty hard. Uh, extreme speed as well, life orb, salt vest, all that good stuff. Right, you can set up a nasty plot. Um, don't really expect it to come. Mysterious, I don't even know what this mysterious does. Um, doesn't look too bad, but don't even know what it does. But don't expect it to come, anyways. Star Raptor, I was thinking about it coming, forgot I had intimidate. Uh, don't expect it to come just because of everything that he can bring instead and then along the Persian I don't expect to come either so sorry this might be a little bit of a quick um, team builder don't really want it to be so long of a video might actually separate them as well not too sure yet on what I want to do but um anyways like I was saying the top six is what I'm expecting him to bring Tapu Koku Rex to my team this is very hard to break with my uh, current team Cobalion as well uh, Cobalion has a good matchup, I think, because, like I said, that's set. Gastrodon, because I don't know if he expects me to be in the superior, but I am. Megalade, because it can hit everything pretty hard, and it's a nice speed tier. And Zygarde. So, this is the team that I built. Uh, I gave the team that I picked up nicknames as well, just because I, I like it. Didn't even see this, didn't have a last move, to be honest, but I think I know what I'm going to throw on there. I think I'm going to throw Poison Jack. Okay. So yeah, Chompers right here meant to take down the um, Earthquake Stone Edge, Hidden Power Grass, Poison Jab with the Choice Scarf. So this can also be a good amount of his team, knock out like Tap Coco, uh, hit everything pretty hard or at least for like 30%. So it hits this with Earthquake, this with Earthquake, this, 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 it kills in one shot. I do have the stone edge for this, I do have the hidden power grass for this in case I can predict the switch ins. Poison jab is gonna be for type of Poco if I think he has a sugar barrier or not. But that's pretty much it. Don't see anything else I might need. Yeah, don't see anything else that I could really use. Maybe dragon stab. Might do dragon stab actually. Yeah, I'm gonna change that actually. So let's see, dragon claw maybe. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Just meant to outspeed a lot of his team and hit him pretty hard. Naive nature, so I don't miss out on my special tech for the hidden power grass. Um, next we have the mountain, Mega Agron, rocking the ice punch, roar, rest, heavy slam, 
252 HP, 180 defense, uh, 76 with death with a careful nature. So a mixed one with Roar. Um, I plan on setting up hazards with this guy and then uh, roaring them around. I need chip on the Mungus in order for my Garchomp to sweep at the end as well as the superior to put in some work as well because that is the plan. Um, so like I was saying, the mountain's just here to be annoying. Ice punch for the Zygarde, run them around, rest so he can rest, take a couple hits because he's so defensive, and then heavy slam a couple things too. So he's gonna be coming in, taking in hits, um, then just running things out when he wakes up. Uh, like I said, this was a kind of uh, fast team build, so some of the sets might be a little basic. Uh, but next we have Water Doggo right here, leftovers. Basically, a basic Victorian set, basic defensive, 252, 248, eights with that bold nature. Um, meant to stop his Zygarde and his Mangalade and his Cobalion, hopefully, if it can handle all of that. And Entei too, but I don't expect an Entei to come because of my Victorian. So that's another Mon. Next we have Speedy Gonzalez right here, max HP, uh, max special attack. That nature is wrong. I think I want it like that. I don't know why that's that. Oh yeah, this is why. Actually, adamant is okay. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, so max, uh, max HP with adamant poison jab in case he leads off top of Coco. He scarfs it because his scarf can outspeed my Deoxys speed. Um, so adamant poison jab will do like 60% then I can pick it off with extreme speed and maybe get up a layer of spikes if I'm lucky that's the plan um, last minute focus sash too uh, last minute I was thinking of running offensive because psychic could wreck a lot of this but mm, I think it should be fine just getting up hazards just doing what it does um, so yeah that's that said next we got right here kitty cat uh, aka the Zero Aura with Volt Absorb. So this thing can completely wall type of Coco with an Assault Vest. As in game, it's like a 4 hit KO. Plasma Fist will be a uh, 2, no, 3 hit KO. Um, if he switches out, I can Volt Switch. Grass Knot is for the Gastrodon. And Knockoff is just for the switch. After he figures out that Cap Coco can't break through this, he's going to want to switch out. So I'm going to knock off anything that comes in. Only bad thing is that this is kind of... This is kind of Zygarde weak now that I think about it. Mm. Shouldn't be too bad because I can only switch this in, so it shouldn't be too bad. I should be okay because I would want the full switch to get out. Mm. Maybe Hidden Power Eyes would bid on this. Don't want to give Zygarde a chance to get up. Taking anything from his defensive mons. Mm, probably a little hit compared to his special one. So I'm gonna lower his bedef and boost up his speed. There we go. What in the world is happening right now? Okay, there we go. Timid. Alright, something wrong with me tonight. Um Okay, and the last one I'm gonna bring is gonna be Grass Snick. Right here, rocking the sub Leaf Seed, uh, Hidden Power Ice for the Among Us and the Zygarde, and Leaf Storm just to get the plus two with Contrary. Uh, pretty bulky just to get take hits from the Sludge Bomb that's gonna come for me from Among Us. And then the special attack is so that Hidden Power Ice will kill after I get up a layer of spikes and Stealth Rocks with Speedy Gonzalez right here. So that's pretty much the team, like I said. Pretty fast team build, but I play this guy tomorrow, so I'll see you guys at the battle. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Mario B coming at you with our week two battle of the LEUL. So we're gonna go ahead and get it going on the uh, Draft Frontier. No face cam for this, just because unfortunately I'm not able to record in my normal spot, so. I'm forced to record in a room that's not mine, it's kind of a mess, so bear with me on the no face cam. But I am going to go ahead and take on our opponent, Sky Spurger, coach of the AC Mid Lantern. And we are about to see what he brought. You can see that the uh, six I expected are right there in the top row, like I said. And wow, he does not bring a lot of what I expected. So, have fun, good luck. Um, 
So I forgot to do this before the battle. Let me go ahead and do it right now. Get this damage calculator going. Uh, he didn't bring a lot of things that I did not expect. Uh, a lot of things that I wasn't expecting, should I say. So no Zygarde. That's really good to see. Uh, oh man. Just a little bit sorry about this guy. Should have had this done before, but I didn't. My first live battle ever, so bear with me, you know. Um, Put the sets and close that. Alright, let's get it. So. Sorry if this is super loud. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so Spikes is good here. I could definitely see B Persian being the lead to taunt my guy or even hit him with a foul play. So that can put in a lot of work. Um, I think my HP superior is going to put in a lot of work. It does all speed this, 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 this. And uh, might even put in some work against this. I think that either Speedy Gonzalez is my lead or my kitty cat right here. Um, Garchomp can also be a lead, but I am scared of the Scarf Coco. So, um, Vaporeon, also Mega Aggron looks great too. So I think I think Rocks is really important here. So I'm going to go ahead and lead my uh, Deoxys Speed here. As he does just lead this. So I could keep my focus sash intact because the only defogger that he does have is Tapu Coco. Um actually I don't know if Mishu is this defog. I'm gonna check that out real quick. Let's see. Does it get defog? And if so, it doesn't. Okay. So that doesn't get defog. I think that Stealth Rock is a good play. And then the switch into Water Dog, right? This uh, yeah, I think this rocks gonna be really good here. I think I'll go with Water Doggo here. Um, as he secret fires here, shouldn't do too much. Doesn't get the burn. Now Toxic is very free here. Um, I can also send off a wish. I think I'm toxic here. I think toxic's the play. Um, yeah, actually, let's let's go ahead and calc that and see what what that if that was banded or what it was. Uh, Ente choice band against my Vaporeon. If it was choice banded, that sacred fire would have done 26 to 31 percent. So yeah, he is banded. Um, probably got the highest roll possible. He's not going to want to stay in and take this Scald. I guess his best switch will either be a Lower Persian or the Mega Delayed, right? Coco, I guess. So Toxic on the on the mission this should be good. Okay. So we do get that off. Um, this shouldn't Calm Mind or anything, right? Let's see. It, calm mind. it does not Calm Mind, so that's interesting. I think that I'm pretty safe just to protect here since I don't... Um, this set can also put in some work. Um, so Soul Vested. What does this do? I don't even know what this does. Hmm. Let's protect the scout. Let's see what he wants to go for. Protect. Oh, he tricks. Okay. So he's most likely Choice Scarfed in, huh? He's Choice Scarfed into that. Uh, he could. Trick. That's interesting. So, um, what do you? Th what do I think he has though? That would have been. That would have been good if he could get that trick off. Something like Toxic Orb um, makes a lot of sense. What's his speed? Two ninety five. What's his six or naturally outspeeds me? I think I should go Kitty Cat here. Um, I should go Mega Agua. Yeah, so this this play actually works out pretty well for me. I know that I can definitely take a hit, but I think I actually just want to go into my kitty cat here. Since it is my designated switch into this, so let's see what he wants to go for here. Oh man, it's all bad. So he volt switches. Okay, so like I said, this is my dedicated lead. 
Um, does this nerf warp sword? No surge surfer, right? So doubles his speed. I think knockoff is safe here. Just to get rid of something's item. Like I said, this is my designated switch into this type of Coco. Um, knockoff covers everything he wants to bring in. It'll knock off whatever this is. It'll hit the make the lane. Oh, might have justified. If he gets to justify boost, is that the worst thing? Not really. Um, let me check something. So, Megalade with a knockoff from Zara Aura. We'll do about 25 and then 21. Is that enough for my guard chump to kill it? 25, 20. Mm, not exactly. So, I definitely need to get my spikes up. I definitely need to get my spikes up. Megalade versus Zara Aura. Plasma Fist is actually doing half, so I think, I think I'm pretty safe just to Plasma Fist here, which is what I think I'm going to do. Um, can you can't put in the work with the Volt Absorb. So this is actually a, a bulkier set uh, that I made with Assault Vest to take the Dazzling Leaves that this wants to go for. He just Volt Switched on me, so I might want to... I don't know. Sorry if the background noise is kind of loud. Um, Oh, I got a crit, so that was lucky. As he does in green. So yeah, that's not going to do anything. And that does confirm that he is now scarfed. Uh, I don't think it... Mm, did that matter? I don't think it was a two-hit KO, to be honest. Yeah. Um, sorry about that, bro. Sorry about that, bro. Um, hate to see hacks. I mean, hate to see it, right? But this guy does not really have a safe switch into my guy right here, so let's see. Is he Rocky Helmet? 44. He is leftover. So here I think he's pretty free to the parting shot. And his foul play shouldn't hurt me too much. Let me see. Persian. Since he is um Peter Master Pop. Yeah, so this Plasma Fist did about 44%. So he might not be 252. He's actually offensive, huh? So 44%. Yeah, so he's offensive. Um, my guy will outspeed for sure. So I don't know if I should knock off here. Or... No, I think two Plasma Fists is pretty safe. So let's see. Hit this with the Plasma Fist. As he knocks off here. So he knocks off the Assault Fist. Uh, not too bad. Honestly, I don't have to be scared of that type of Coco. Let alone, I am a bulkier variant. So, like I said, I'm just going to Plasma Fist here and get some good damage off. So, let's see. Plasma Fist does about 40. Okay. Um, um, don't really have the best switch in because I think that he could easily double. I got all the damage off I need on this, it's not scarfed. So I didn't prepare for that double speed though, because it could have the HP ice. So I think here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually stay in. Cause I don't think he, he secret fires here. What's the worst he can hit me with? Let's see, NT. NT against my Vaporeon. Stone Edge would be the most thing. And is it a 2 hit KO 80? No. So I think Water Doggo is pretty safe. I just want him to switch. Okay, so he does extreme speed here. <clears throat> so I think I get off a Wish here pretty easily. As he might be able to bring in his Tapu Coco. But what I think I'm going to do is actually bring in Zero Aura. And let him get the Wish off. Okay, wish. Um. I think I'll go into Zero Aura here, because Zero Aura is so good, it's really putting a game on this team. Saddle Balls here, I do live, do get that Wish back, and then I do get that. So he is Scarfed, I think, the Shadow Ball. This can definitely live another hit. Um, knock Off, I think, is the play. I'll speed most of his team, and yeah, so Zero Aura is going to get a kill on the Mischievous with the Knock Off. So, um, with this 6 that he brought, the Zara Aura is actually putting in a lot of work. 
and I can't let this set up so I think I have to sack this in order to mm, yeah so it should be bad does have speed plasma fist should do about 50 which it does and he close combat here so he does lock me out but that's not a problem I do have my scarfed guard chomp of course which is gonna claim a kill right now um, yeah this just claims a kill I think pretty much so I'm gonna earthquake here and just get my kill so he does decide to sack off the load in Persian which I don't know if he thinks I'm scarfed because I could live a hit right yeah I don't think he expects me to be scarfed so and this isn't scarf because he switched the moves so Garchomp should get the kill here the only thing that I'm gonna have to worry about Yep, so he sacks off his Entei here. Crit didn't matter. To get in his right shoe, huh? Mm. This guy isn't gonna be doing too much here. So I think I'll go into Mega Aggro here. See what he wants to go for. As he over predicts, I'm guessing. And I don't know if I should roar him out or just heavy slam. I think I'm just gonna heavy slam here. So he both switches out. Wow, that did a lot. Um, and he goes into make Gallade as a heavy slam. That will pick up the kill. So his last two mons are Raichu and Tapu Koko. He has two more turns, so I just need to be smart with my turns. Uh, if I get up. And extreme speed that poison jab and extreme speed, right? Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna actually um, poison jab extreme speed with this guy. Uh, here we go. So, oh, thunderbolts. Okay, so poison jab, do the damage. Um, question is, is he switch out to? He has to switch out to get the terrain, right? He has to switch out to get the turn, right? If not, he loses to... Well, not exactly. Yeah, so I'll extreme speed here. Which I think was the play. I do get that. And he can bring this in, but... He's gonna do a lot. Yeah, knocks him out. GG. So that was a really good game. I think that Scarf Guard Chomp really put in the work. And I think the play that really messed him up was the crit on the Tapu Coco. So that really did help me out. Uh, just weakening every all his team with Zero Aura, putting in a lot of work. The Oxygen Speed didn't even get a chance to set up his hazards, but um, I guess it wasn't needed. Uh, the Rocks would have put in a lot of work. Now that I think about it, probably should have got them up. But nonetheless, got the 4 0 victory. So good game to my opponent, Sky Splitter. And um, yeah, so we take the win for week two. Uh, we're still trying to figure out if our week one opponent is going to let us make up the battle. Whether he does or not, I will definitely go ahead and post that up. Um, but nonetheless, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good rest of your day.